What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. We're back in the G80. Um, and guys, I'm so happy to announce that my daughter has been officially born yesterday at 11.35 in the morning. We arrived at the hospital at 9 in the morning. Two hours later, she was birthed. My girl, true champion, true warrior. Um, did not take an epidural shot or nothing like that. Um, because some people, some females take those shots. But yeah, I'm on the way to the hospital right now. We're gonna meet her for the first time on video. Um, and guys, I'm so excited to show you guys my fucking daughter, man. She's officially here, man. She's so beautiful. She weighed at eight and a half pounds when she was first born. Eight and a half. Um, her sugar levels were low in the beginning because my girl still hasn't started milking yet because it takes like three days to start milking. The baby has to be on, on the breast and just just keep milking. But she took formula. We gave her formula and uh, her sugar levels are high now. So very excited to announce that she's very healthy at the moment. And that's what it's all about, health. That's all that matters to me is health. My daughter healthy, that's all I want. Um, so, very happy to announce that um, we're gonna go see her right now. I'm driving there right now. Um, so I think tom today or tomorrow I gotta do the the birth certificate thing. I gotta sign it, and so we, I can have my official last name. On you know she can have my official last name. So I gotta I gotta, I gotta be at the hospital tomorrow morning before we get discharged. We, we we've been at the hospital for over 36 hours because they have to make sure everything's well with the with the girl. Um, like that's all it's about bro health so i'm just so excited right now man like i have a little girl mini me literally has my eyebrows bro she she came out so hairy um i don't know if that's normal or not because this is my first time having a child but man i'm so excited bro like i just want like, to just just give this girl the the world man like i just want to make sure she's good for life man uh, that's all I, that's all i care about man my priority now making sure she's happy making sure I'm in her life all the time so she, she can grow up to be a good woman oh my god I'm so excited bros you don't understand shit fucking break check of Hellerson Jesus I hate when they do that shit bro I just hate that shit we got it back I haven't been driving as much I've been because I have a, another car I still have the rental to my disposal so I've been using a truck too um but yeah man I got the car seat I got the car seat back there I just need to know how I put it on the little things the G G80 already has the little lever thing so I could hook it up back there but I, I think I need another person with me so I can um like make sure that shit's like doesn't move at all like the, like this li this shit it's still moving like you know before I leave the hospital they're not gonna let me leave the hospital unless this does not move so I gotta figure out a way um, to make it not move at all I want to make sure my daughter's safe back there Oh man, she's gonna love this G80, man. She's gonna love this G80. I hope she, bro, I hope she loves everything I do, like sports, and I'm gonna get her into sports. Like, I love basketball, so I'm gonna get her into that. Um, I, wanna, I want her to protect herself. Like, I want her to know um, self-defense and all that, bro. Like, I'm gonna get her, I'm gonna get her right, bro. I'm gonna train her. <laughs> bro, like, I'm really gonna train her. Like, I'm gonna, oh my God, I, I just can't wait, bro. I'm excited, bro. It's literally a mini me. It's literally a mini me, but a girl mini me. So I'm excited as hell, guys. Oh my god. It's a blessing, bro. It's a true blessing to have a child. It's a true blessing, bro. Especially with the right person, man. It, if you have a child with the wrong person, it kind of messes everything up. But my situation here, man, I got a beautiful wife. And she takes care of herself. And she takes care of the kid. She's a good mom. Literally gave birth, birth within two hours of arriving at the hospital didn't take an epidural shot just literally just took out the pain literally i was there in the, in the room when she was burping man that shit was crazy i've never witnessed experience something like that that shit's like life changing oh my god yeah she had to, she had to get stitched up and everything bro that shit that shit broke man that shit shit hurts man you you're literally your your bottom part like you know your private part that shit literally breaks when you're having a child bro and i feel really really bad for what they have to endure down there while that happens man but man she's a true champion bro i really appreciate her a lot man she, she's the love of my life can't wait to give her the world as well man you know that's all it's about bro giving my two girls the world and growing as a family um because you know i might have not had the best supportive um 
dad, you know, growing up, you know, he didn't really buy me shit. Um, he was really strict and stern on me, but um, that kind of builds that kind of builds a man, to be honest. G growing up with nothing, it kind of builds a man, so you can be better though, be better, be the difference in the family. That's all it's about to me right now. Man, I'm so happy, bro. I'm so happy. This is literally the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. This is literally, I can't explain it, man. Being a, fa a father just, I just feels different, bro. Instead of, I got I got a whole different mentality now, bro. Like I can't give up on anything. I gotta go, 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 work for it, work for it, work for it. Cause that little girl can't work for it, bro. She, she needs daddy, she needs mommy in her life. So I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna be the difference maker, bro. We're still um, breaking in that new engine, obviously. Um, we did get the car back with 3,200 miles, so that's approximately, I would need to break in at least 1,000 miles, so around 4,200 miles, 4,200, and then I'll know it's broken in. That's just how I would regulate it myself. So I'm not driving too crazy right now. I can't really go crazy, it's crazy. But, um, cause I'm not, bro, I don't have warranty. So if it, if it breaks right now, if this engine breaks on me right now, it's my fault. Cause I didn't break it in. So, you know, it's gonna be my fault. And guess what? I'm gonna have to replace it out of my own pocket. Geico's not covering something that you broke on your own. If, if it's not a catastrophic in like catastrophic damage, they cannot fix it. It's not covered under insurance. If it's not catastrophic, a flood is catastrophic. Shit happens. Shit happens in life. So you can't really, um, manage that or handle that situation i mean i can i guess i could have handled it better by just not going outside that day but yeah man i'm excited let's go 15 minutes away from the hospital i haven't ate anything today so after i go see my daughter i'm probably gonna get something to eat I'm fucking starving i haven't slept anything much either bro Fuck it. it's really hard to sleep with a newborn um they kept constantly the nurses kept constantly going in there and checking up on her every three hours um making sure she's good um they kept um doing like some blood work every every three hours they finally stopped though because the sugar level is high now so they don't have to do that but it's mandatory if your if your child is low sugar level they might have to put her in the ecu icu so they almost did that with her um thank god her levels went back up manual from from here on out we're gonna drive stick well not obviously not shit's not manual but with the paddle shifters so what we do is i just turn it up transmission number three like this and now it's gonna be in manual mode and i'm gonna have to use the paddle shifters it sounds so much different with the paddle shifters though it sounds way different i can downshift upshift myself so it's kind of cool you're gonna see the difference sound right now put the windows down slightly hopefully it's not windy tough balls shit sounds crazy when you, when you go in manual mode this shit sounds crazy
fucking Hellerson. Yeah. I don't drive manual like that. They like that shit. We just drafted Drake Bell or some shit. Drake May. Oh, yeah, Drake May. I said Drake Bell is nuts. Yo, Drake May, yeah. Uh, hopefully, he could be the difference maker, bro. Because Cam Newton wasn't it. Mac Jones wasn't it. Like, bro, what the hell, bro? Straight up white QBs, bro. Please just do something. Ever since Brady retired, bro. Like, damn. Team's been a fucking joke. <sighs> Top person, top person. I don't think you want to hit this shit, baby. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you want to do that. You want to be paying them. <sighs> Give me a few more months, chat, and I'm going to be doing some more mods to this car. We're going to be going faster. Give me a few more months. 
I'm gathering stacks of death because first of all, I don't wanna just use my savings on this car. I wanna build this channel up and hopefully with this channel, we can get more modifications. Right now, my priority is not modifying this car. My priority is my daughter. She was just born. I'm not crossing a red light. That's not happening. <laughs> Yo, Jeeps are fire, man. Jeeps are long lasting, big vehicles. I love them. I've actually never driven a Jeep. Maybe one day I'll get the chance to drive a Jeep. Oh, that's a Chipotle right there, two minutes away from the hospital. Hmm, might have to go there. Might have to go there, get my girl some food or some shit. Come back. What the hell happened there? Why does he have his sirens on? Oh no, he's just turning right. Pasco County Sheriff. Pasco County, this this county, if y'all know Pasco County, this is my first time living here. I'm from Lee County, Dade County. Lee County and Dade County, that's where I lived the most my whole life. And Osceola County, I lived there four years. So I lived in Miami for five, I lived in Kissimmee for four, and I lived in Fort Myers for about 16 years. Fort Myers is tough though, very tough. My brother graduated class of 20, 2009 in Dunbar High School, and then I went to uh, Eastleigh County High School in uh, Lehigh Acres. It's like around 15 minutes away from there. But... Fort Myers is so ghetto, man. <laughs> See, when I first moved there, bro, it was so bad, man. They've constructed more, more things ever since you know I've grown up. But when I first moved here, I moved there like around. Shit, when I hit like. I think eight or nine years old I moved there. That shit was tough. Yeah, brand new learning experience. From Miami to Fort Myers, big difference. My dad just didn't want me to grow up in Miami. He did not want that life for me. He knows that shit was bad. We lived in Calle Ocho, A Street. And we lived in a Cuban downtown fucking, it's literally mini Cuban downtown. Like this, that Calle Ocho shit. All, all the Cubans know about that shit in Miami. Right next to El Sedano. I live right there. Some green, some it was some green apartments, bro. It was so ghetto, man. It was so gross, man. It was some nasty people around there. Damn, I got here late. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the birth certificate until tomorrow. I'm gonna go in the morning then. I'm gonna go in the morning then. Sheesh. Ride for it, ride for it. All right, so when I get inside, I'm not gonna put the GoPro on my head. I'm just gonna have this, um, I'm just gonna record off my iPhone and then use uh, use these wireless mics so you guys could hear good audio. I'm gonna use these wireless mics. The wireless mics are compy. In case you don't wanna record with the GoPro. Hospital HCA Florida Trinity Hospital. Hey, hope you guys can hear me well. There's the car of hell, beautiful GD. Thank you guys for making this possible. Twitch supporters, I really appreciate you guys. You guys are my life. I love you guys so fun much. We're going to the hospital now. I love y'all, boys. Thank you guys for supporting this channel. Really appreciate you guys. Shit. I really like this hospital. And they've been, they've been taking really good care of my wife. And they have food service at your own disposal. I don't recommend the hospital food though. Going up. Second floor. Close. Yeah, I'm
啊，这家倍儿真。Should be in one of these rooms. Hey, how you doing? I'm recording. Are you? Yeah. Where's the baby? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. Oh. She's sleeping. She's sleeping so what's up with the tomorrow? We go to the birth certificate thing. Yeah, you, have, you can go yourself. I don't couldn't find it. I need help with that. Yeah, you can just ask somebody. Oh cool. yeah, chat. Look at the beautiful nana. The papa. Hey, Bebba. What are you doing, Bebba? She's sleeping? Hmm? She's sleeping or what? She's sleeping, yeah. Okay. Okay. So guys, if you guys did enjoy this little mini POV, Introducing you guys to baby. Baby. Look at that. She is so cute. Oh, little baby. I love her. I love her. She's the best. <laughs> She's the cutest.